moment, but first, a former deputy accused of raping two teenagers during traffic stops is speaking publicly for the first time. He wants to share his side of the story to our Rusty Surrett, and he actually, you talked to his attorney today, is that right, Rusty? Yeah, Amy, Brandon Balthrop denies these allegations, but even if he is found innocent in these cases, this former lawman says his life is already ruined. It's felt like a one-sided story, and when your name's ruined, and you're drugged through the mud, and you're slandered all over the media and the newspapers, it makes it hard to try to show your face. As difficult as it may be, Brandon Balthrop and his attorney, Jim Key, agree to sit down and talk with us about the sexual crimes this former Stevens County deputy is accused of committing. They're devastating. It has um, affected my family, my friends. It's ruined my name, and it's hard to walk down the street knowing that People think of me as some monster that is terrorizing women when that's not the case. The 27-year-old is facing five counts of sexual misconduct. Two of those charges stem from an incident three years ago involving a former co-worker at the Duncan Police Department. When you look in the affidavit, you'll see where he admitted an incident occurred, but it was a prank and a deal between friends. The other charges involve two teenage girls. Bothrop is accused of pulling over in separate traffic stops this year. Key says he's got the evidence to prove Bothrop never kidnapped or raped the girls who Key says happen to be friends. So I think this is all a concoction of two very young ladies who want the publicity in a possible lawsuit against the Stevens County Sheriff's Department. The charges were filed this week, but Sheriff Wayne McKinney says he fired Balthrop before that because OSBI investigators said he had refused to cooperate during a polygraph test. He says that's not true. They know that this is one of the weakest cases that's ever come down the pike. Balthrop says he's getting by with the support of family and friends, but one of the biggest disappointments in all of this, he says, is his former boss, Sheriff McKinney. He did not stand behind me. And when the going got tough, he lost his backbone and took the easy way out. And Balthrop, Balthrop says if he is clear to these charges, he will not return to law enforcement, not after going through all of this. But if he is found guilty, he could be facing up to life in prison. Amy? All right, Rusty, and a preliminary hearing in this case is scheduled for.